Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trail RV in Frederick, Colorado. So we've got a brand new Cimarron living quarter sitting behind me. This trailer is available. That's kind of one of the tough things in today's market. A lot of these trailers are not available, even though we have a whole bunch of them in production. Either customers have ordered them or customers have put their name on them. This one actually did make it to the lot and is available as of today. So it is a 2023 Cimarron 4 horse. It is a North Star model, but with an Outlaw conversions. Before we walk through this trailer, show you all the different options we did on this. Nothing ever standard when we build a Cimarron, especially the Cimarron and an Outlaw. Uh, but we'll go ahead and take a look at the drawing. Just to, I wanna give you an idea of how this trailer is laid out and some dimensions on it. We're talking 30 foot on the floor. So this is a real easy maneuverable type trailer to get around in. It's standard eight foot wide. And then we're seven, seven tall on this trailer. Now, when we get in the living quarters part, this is a 12, six outlaw conversions with the slide out. So we have a 12 and a half foot short wall on this. Again, when you combine that and this four horse, I mean, again, it's a real easy trailer to get in and out of places with it only being 30 foot on the floor. And again, we're looking at a 23 model. Uh, we will start seeing um, some 24 model living quarters coming in in a few months. But there's usually a lag on that. We're starting to see 24 models in the using trailers hit the lot after May 1. Uh, but by the time we build that trailer with the shell, get it to the conversion company and it actually hitting the lot, it does take a little bit to start seeing those. So uh, on this, before we really get into it, why we really like combining a Cimarron with an Outlaw and then a true Outlaw package, which we'll talk about more when we get in this living quarters, is the warranty side of it. So on the Cimarron side, you have an eight year structure warranty, three year hardware, uh, one year, no questions asked warranty on the tires as well. And then when we jump into an outlaw conversions, a true outlaw, you get three year warranty there as well, five year craftsmanship. So when we look at that, this is the only trailer on the market from nose to tail is covered for three years. Now there are some conversion companies that'll offer a three year craftsmanship warranty and a one year on all appliances, but outlaw covers the appliances on this trailer for three years. So if the microwave, you know, refrigerator has a one year manufacturer warranty. If Outlaw puts it on, they cover it for three. So again, covered for three years. So that's something that really sets this trailer apart from a lot of other competitors out there in the living quarters market. Okay, now let's start talking about some options. Underneath the gooseneck here with it being a slide out, dual jacks, these are electric over hydraulic. So we do uh, have the option to manually pump this on or off a truck in emergency situations. But because of the slide, even though it's not a big trailer, we like that stability having dual jacks. We also like to go in and make sure we have 30 pound bottles. Uh, you know, in some models, you know, you'd get 20s. We like to upgrade and at least make sure there's 30s. You know, just having that extra LP capability on hand is definitely nice. You're not having to change tanks or fill these tanks up as often with them being 30s. Spare tire located to the left of them. And then an aluminum battery box that's gonna house our batteries. So you'll see house battery number one, house battery number two. Everything else is labeled underneath there as well. I give Outlaw a ton of credit for that because boy, does that save a lot of hassle and problems, whether we're troubleshooting something with a customer on the road or they take it into a service center to have something done. You know, it's really easy since everything's labeled on where things are going. They don't know how this was uh, actually you know, manufactured there at Outlaw, but by them being able to look and trace lines, it again, saves a ton of time there. On off battery switches in there as well. There's additional room for extra batteries if you ever wanna put that in there, but you can lock this aluminum battery box up. Uh, the other cool thing is with these jacks is they run on uh, individual switches. So I can kind of manipulate the way that this trailer sits on the ground. Uh, but also when I go to hook up, if I'm off just a little bit, I can walk a trailer on with having dual jacks and dual actual switches there as well. Up underneath here, you'll see this tube. So that's actually gonna house our uh, hose to, for our dump tanks. So gray and black when we need to do that. So it's up out of the way, it's secure. So you know where it's at. I like to recommend it. I think the best things that work <laughs> is, is like a big long vet glove or an AI type glove, a, a sleeve. Uh, you can throw those right in this battery box. When you go to grab this hose, you know, you're gonna dump your black tank first, switch over to your, your gray tank, 
so it flushes everything out and then you can put this right here those gloves are disposable you got them right here handy throw them away secure everything and right there it is now on this gooseneck i'll just show you frameless windows are now standard so uh, in my opinion it gives a cleaner sleeker look to the trailer that actually happened uh, on the 22 models they're continuing on but those are again a sleek look to the trailer itself you know you can still get the old traditional ones but from a standard standpoint that's what we're going to have on the trailers there now before we get in this living quarters you're going to notice we have an awning with a aluminum cover i love those aluminum covers because it just protects that awning fabric from uv rays uh you know the sun will just beat down on it make that that awning frail over time and that's where we normally see any cracks or holes is usually in that first about 12 to 18 inches of that actual awning if it doesn't have that type of a cover. That's actually an electric awning as well. So we can push a button, it'll roll out, roll back in, lock into place. You don't have to secure anything, go find the tool to get the string pulled out. Real simple to push a button and out it comes. You have some exterior speakers as well. So good place to just entertain out here, sit out here, maybe do a little barbecuing, uh, hanging out in some lawn chairs, you enjoy some music, enjoy the shade from the awning itself. You do have an outlet out here as well. So you've got uh, power capability as you're sitting out here. And then underneath actually is an LED uh, strip light under there as well. So we have a porch light, but also having the ability to actually have some light out here is definitely nice there. Now, we went with a 12.6 and we went to an actual outlaw conversion. So a lot of these for inventory the last few years, we've been carrying the Proline XP by outlaw conversion. So that's a production model. There, you're not getting your full three-year warranty. So once we kind of priced the two trailers out, um, kind of side by side, we felt like it was, it was more cost effective for the end user to jump into a full outlaw conversions because it wasn't a massive uh, price spread between the two, but you get that three-year warranty that comes along with it. So we really liked that option and went ahead with an actual outlaw conversion on this. So again, a 12 and a half foot short wall with a slide out. We have a sliding screen door as we come in, step as we come in to the actual living quarters itself. And then with this having a slide out, boy, it really opens up this trailer. I mean, a lot of space in here. Um, I mean, there's going to be two of us in here during this video and you know, we're not going to be standing on top of each other. We have room to maneuver around. So as you're actually enjoying this trailer and going and using it again, you're going to enjoy the space. Believe me up in the gooseneck, you get their queen memory foam mattress. There's storage up, up by your head. There's a storage cabinet over to your left as well. There's a big storage cabinet right here with two clothes rods. Now, underneath these steps and underneath this cabinet is actually gonna be the fresh water holding tank. Because this is a electric slide, we're not gonna put the water in the actual slide out. So that water tank's gonna run right across here and then it's gonna expand. You've got these steps going up, but You've got your sink, a counter, a two burner cooktop with a counter cover as well. So it just gives you a little bit more counter space when you're not actually utilizing that. You've got a, a vent hood right here and then you have a microwave up above there. AM, FM radio, DVD player, CD player, Bluetooth capability. 24 inch flat screen now that's a smart tv so we've gone in and we've made these trailers wi-fi capable so you need to go into like your uh, cellular provider they can get you hooked up with a sim card to plug in uh, the actual wi-fi capability as well will boost uh, so if you get somewhere at a camping spot fairgrounds anything like that and they have wi-fi you can tap into that but it'll actually boost it actually in this living quarters itself so as you see one of the other things is you've got LED lights throughout, and then you're also gonna have these vents. So the ducted vents make a massive difference when just continuing to try to control the temperature within this actual living quarters. 
it's awesome because it gives you a consistent temperature throughout it. If you want to force more air one way or the other, where it's into the bathroom or at night up into the gooseneck, you can shut some vents down and force them in those directions there. Uh, but it, believe me, it makes it feel a lot better um, as far as just a consistent temperature uh, when we're running off of like a single unit AC on this one with it being a 12 and a half and 30 amp service. That's all you need on this size of a trailer right here that we're looking at. Now behind me, there's that slide out that I was talking about. We did a jackknife style couch, so that sofa sleeper, so it will lay down into a bed. So you have the additional seating sleeping area. You have some overhead storage and then storage underneath the actual sofa right here. This, in my opinion, is a great place to throw your extra pillows and blankets for this sofa right there. So it's handy, it's in, you know, it's really close and really accessible, but then there's some overhead cabinets for you as well. Now, as we get kind of across from it, you're gonna have the nice big refrigerator freezer. This is really nice when you're traveling, spend a lot of time on the road because it's not like one of those little dorm fridges where it's literally smaller than this bottom part of the refrigerator and your freezer's included in that. You've got the capability to take a lot of food with you and drinks. And then directly above that is gonna be a 32 inch flat screen TV. Same thing, smart TV setup. That's kind of the way that we're going with all of our inventory. Everybody likes to stream. Um, I know I got two little ones at home and it's all about the streaming of, you know, your Disney's, your Netflix's, your Amazon Prime's, all of that. Uh, so to be able to, to do that right here on all these, so it's all capable and set up for you to go and use as far as that's concerned there. Then as we step into the bathroom, you have your pocket door that slides across, so you don't have a door you have to work around. Bathroom vanity, so you've got a nice mirror, some counter space, a sink there as well. And if you notice, the toilet isn't, you know, you're not gonna actually have to hover over that toilet if you're standing in front of that bathroom vanity. That's definitely a plus there. We just did a wood cover on it instead of just the old plain, um, style toilet seat and then back behind the shower that we'll show you here in a minute but there's another closet dual close rods there's actually your table and your foot for that so for your slide out you can actually utilize that to actually have a table sit down enjoy a meal there but again a lot of storage and then as you can see i'm actually in the stall area so has a pass-through door to go in to here What's awesome, we'll show you, there's gonna be an access door at that very first stall. You can actually use this as kind of a mud room. Kind of hop in, kick off dirty clothes, dirty boots, step right in here to the bathroom. And then you've got your radius shower. So you have some actual elbow room, some space. You actually have a vent up above there as well. So you can get rid of some of that steam if you want, get some fresh air in here, and it gives you a little bit of some natural light coming in as well. But as you can see, this is still a good size bathroom uh, with it being a 12.6 short wall on this. Again, quite a bit of space, even though it's in a smaller LQ package. Um, we can get into a 10.8 short wall with a slide out, but that's as small as we can go on these. Uh, so this 12 and a half has kind of been a good good size as far as in these four horses uh, the capability for an additional seating sleeping area and then obviously um, the slide out opening everything up so before we head out right above my head here's a couple hat racks that we put up there and then right here kind of above the kitchen area uh, you're going to notice here's our controls for our actual slide out room itself, that awning that I was telling you about. And then this is actually equipped with an onboard 4000 gas generator that I'll show you here in a minute. But here's the controls for that right here. So you don't have to go out, crawl up top. You can literally hit your on button to see how much fuel you have and then start and stop right here uh, from inside the living quarters itself. So again, by having a 12.6, again, it's not making this trailer big. We talked about it 30 foot on the floor, 
very easy, very maneuverable type trailer to get in and out of places. Now let's start talking a little bit about the actual trailer itself. Um, you know, uh, Cimarron all aluminum construction. We'll talk about the roof here in a minute. Uh, we want a lot of airflow. Two 8,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles, 17 five inch wheels, aluminum wheels for that matter as well. And then J rated Cooper tires on this. So really good heavy duty actual rubber underneath it and you have electric brakes so obviously your truck's gonna have to be equipped with an integrated brake controller which are on most new trailer uh, excuse me trucks or an aftermarket brake controller in order to operate those so i talked about at the beginning all these cimarron's with outlaws all of them are a little bit different on how we build them and equip them this is a really small feature there you see that big light right there in the middle so that's an amber turn signal uh, we like adding these onto living quarters, the longer trailers, the wider trailers, just because our turn signals for the back of the trailer are a long ways away from the truck. And as we're traveling and roads are busy, we want to be able to indicate for people, hey, I'm trying to get over or I'm braking. Uh, so this will indicate with our turn signals, it'll indicate with our brake lights, and it'll also work as an extra large marker light for you as you're traveling. Uh, so we like going in and adding that option there. So if you look, we've got drop windows at one and three, bus windows at two and four. Uh, we just wanted a little bit more airflow in there. We know some, some customers really like drop windows, um, but you know, Cimarron does a really good job on utilizing this space and trying to maximize the size of that actual bus window. Uh, so we have plenty of airflow throughout it. You're gonna have a 16 inch awning light um, kind of split between stalls two and three, giving you plenty of light coverage as you're, you know, tacking up, run saddling, whatever you need to. You got horses tied up to the outside of the trailer. And then up top, we've got a nine foot sheeted hay rack. And then as you see in there is going to be the actual uh, generator in its box set up there as well. When you have that generator fired up, you might only hear a little bit of a hum in the actual living quarters. It's really, those micro quiet Onans are awesome, but it's nice to be able to fire that guy up. Even if you don't have any power, maybe you're going camping and you're out in the middle of nowhere, you can fire that up and have the, the capability to run your air conditioner, your microwave, your TVs, anything like that, because you have that onboard generator right there. Now, We'll get into the stall area. First thing over here to the left, you're gonna notice a folding rear tack room. So on this one here, we have 50-50 rear doors because of the extra width of the trailer with it being eight wide. So we get these nice bigger doors and also we make this uh, rear tack a little bit more accessible rather than everything pinched in really tight. This is a removable post. So if I ever needed to collapse this down, I could do that. I can pop this out very easily, four tier, as far as the pads go, and we did a couple blanket poles for you. Those are all adjustable. You can change the sequence if you want. You can slide them up and down, uh, anything like that. We put some hooks on the door with the brush tray on it. And then you have some additional hooks on the actual folding rear wall there. You've got two eight inch awning lights. So again, light coverage there. You've got an LED light on the inside of the tack area. And then we have lights in the actual tack or uh, in the stall area itself. So plenty of light coverage. We understand you're gonna be doing stuff at night in the dark. It's nice to have some of those with you. As you can see, we've got solid dividers. We have a stud divider at number one. And then we went with the air flows on the actual head grill and over on the shoulder as well. But by having a stud divider, it's really nice just to, if you're not you actually utilizing it for a fourth horse and you want to throw some additional items in there, you can throw that in there. And we're not having to worry about things getting underneath horses in transit. Notice that all the dividers are actually pushed over towards driver's side. I'm not touching them. They're not hooked back. They, Cimarron puts a big spring underneath it. The last thing we want to do is fight a divider when we're trying to load or unload a horse, if, especially if they're not really wanting to, uh, cooperate with you. We don't have to hold anything in place. Again, they just want to pull out of the way. So by by having that folding rear tack, you know, these a lot of times some customers are utilizing these to maybe throw some four wheelers in, something like that, using them as a toy hauler as well, going to the mountains. So 
Like in this instance here, this trailer does not have a rear ramp. If you wanted to add one, we could do that here very simply to this trailer itself. Kick mats all around. The divider latches, everything is flush to the wall. So no, you know, nothing protruding out, nothing sticking out to catch a horse. There's no sharp angles, no 90 degrees on these. Everything has a radius. So when you're touching these dividers, even the, the airflow part, the jail bars, they've got a radius to them. So everything's nice and safe for the horses. Real easy to operate, open and close. Now, on a, we talked about it being all aluminum construction. This floor that we're standing on is the best floor in the market. So four inch centers. So a horse is always standing on a support beam when they're standing on a Cimarron floor. Imagine that hoof size of a horse. They're always standing on that beam. Other trailers will spread them out. In my opinion, that's where the price point really, really drops on a lot of trailers and the quality of the build itself goes. So easiest thing to do is crawl underneath the trailer and look. You'll notice those support beams start spreading apart. That's where over time you'll get those, those pits in there um, or a wavy floor, but mainly the pits because that's where urine can collect and start to corrode that floor because it finds that low spot. Um, all aluminum trailers, you should always pull mats, power wash them out. Uh, you can sprinkle baking soda down. It'll counteract the acidity uh, when you go to put mats back in. In this one here, we did rubber mats. I know there's a lot of trailers for inventory. We do a lot of worm flooring as well, so we can do that after the fact, or on some builds, we have that. This one here, we just did the rubber mats. It's a little easier pulling mats in, in and out straight uh, versus our side loads where you're having to go around some corners a little bit trickier. Um, but that's an option for you to do as well. And then they cap it off with a, a uh, excuse me, a insulated roof. So compared to aluminum sheeted roofs, it's gonna keep the stallery about 20% cooler. Now, I, I know it, it doesn't sound like a lot, but when you come into these trailers in the summertime and it's really hot here on the lot, and especially horse trailers that are all shut up, uh, we jump you in an all aluminum trailer and then we bring you to a Cimarron and you can feel, physically feel the difference in the actual stall area based on that insulated roof. And it's really strong as well takes 150 pounds per square foot it can take. I can walk on these roofs. I don't have to find an actual roof bow if I need to get up there and do anything. I can walk on it and it'll take substantial hail. Uh, we will be having a hail sale on some of our other manufacturers on our used inventory with aluminum sheeted roofs. We had a hail uh, storm here about a month and a half ago that, you know, I mean, we have noticeable hail damage even when you're standing on the inside on those aluminum roofs. To run our Cimarron's, the only thing that we saw was maybe some vent covers, you know, um, maybe those kind of smaller items that got a some dings in them, but the roofs were completely fine on that. So definitely helps from just that overall headache uh, that you have to deal with there. I'm gonna go ahead and shut our doors because what I wanna show you is I wanted to show you this ladder over here to the left so that ladder will help us access up to that hay rack and also uh, generator area on top of the trailer. But compared to like bolt-on ladders where you have to go straight up this, and if you're trying to carry maybe some buckets or some feed bags, it's really hard making that transition up to the top. But Cimarron's designed this easy angle ladder so it extends out. That's why it kind of goes up a little bit higher. So it ex extends out. And now it's really simple to carry items going up this ladder up to the top. This can be added to trailers as well. Maybe you have a bolt on and you say, hey, I'd really like that. Instead, we can help you out with our parts and service department. Light switches are back here. So again, I can access and turn on lights individually, whether it's stall lights, exterior lights. And then one of the last things, this is kind of like our amber turn signal. This is a, a small option we've been doing on a lot more trailers, especially all of our living quarters or bigger trailers, is a backup light. So right here, you can throw it in reverse. You can actually have some light coverage at the back of the trailer. If you're getting into unfamiliar places or getting home at night, you want that. Again, trucks a long ways away on these trailers by having backup lights. Again, a very, very small feature we like adding on there. There's a good look at our drop windows over here on driver's side. You know, big, big, massive openings. 
So just like on those on that tail side I showed you, these over here just have the jail bars. But everything around these windows is actual framework. So they're really strong and stout. They shut really nice. Welded hinges with grease certs. So we can actually, if we start getting a squeaky hinge, we can actually put grease to it and maintain those a little bit easier. There's actually a brass rod in the middle that has grooves cut into it. So once we start feeding that grease into that, that uh, hinge there and start opening and closing, it's trying to feed that grease throughout the actual hinge. <clears throat> At this back manger right here, if you notice, here's our fill for our, that gas generator. Again, an Onan 4000 gas. But right here is actually gonna be the fuel cell so they really tried to do a good job making it kind of an L shape so we're not you know, losing as much space. And a four horse, it helps because we're getting three manger doors. We're in a three, you know, you only have two typically. So you're kind of losing about, not almost half. Um, but in this instance here, they really do try to keep it to where it's still accessible and, and you can actually utilize the mangers. So again, three manger doors. There's LED lights in there as well. Those are actually on the switch, on the light itself. Uh, but to be able to throw some buckets, some, some feed bags in there, maybe some lawn chairs, those type of items, it is really nice having that extra storage um, underneath there. And then, like I mentioned, an escape door at stall number one. It's got a chest bar. Since we have mangers, that one there, we went ahead and put the feed bag right there for you already. You have a step. So again, you can use that as a mudroom if you want to be able to just kind of move in and out of that area is definitely nice as far as that's concerned. City water connection, 30 amp service plug. And then there's our holding tank. So we have our black tank sewage, gray tank, you know, anything in the black tank is actually coming from the toilet. Anything gray water is coming from like our shower, uh, our kitchen sinks, that type of stuff there. So again, dump your black tank first, then move to your gray tank, it flushes everything out. And then here's a good look at that uh, slide out, extended out. You'll notice too the extrusion on there. Uh, we actually like to run the extrusions up to the neck. I think it just gives a, a cleaner look to the trailer as well. Uh, but we like running that, that extrusion all the way to the nose. And then you're going to have an awning on top uh, that comes out with the slide out just to kind of protect that area a little bit too if you're in some weather. So again, really cool setup. Again, not a big trailer, uh, but with that slide out, it really opens up. So again, this trailer is available today. I'm going to give you the stock number on it for reference. Again, it's a 2023 Cimarron North Star four horse living quarters with an outlaw conversion. Stock number is 5N221153. We do take trade-ins. Whether you're looking to upgrade, even downsize, we can help you out there. Financing's available and delivery is an option as well. So we could possibly get this right to your doorstep. So give us a call. Anybody on our sales team can help you out. That number is 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in have a good day.